Gonna do a quick video on uh, how to set pinion depth. We got a Dana 44 working on here. Kinda already got it set up where we want it, but it's got a, it's a motive gear and it's got the depth stamped in it right there, if you can read that. 2.624, that's what we're looking for. That's a 2.624. Now that's, that's a measurement from how far that should be from this imaginary center line, dead center of this carrier if it was in here. So to measure it, you need a special tool. Now before I even set this up, all the people that are good at this that I know that do this, which is not me, but my friends are really good at this, they never use this tool. They start with the shim, the pinion shim that was in the original pinion and start from there and make adjustments. But if you were in a place where you didn't have that shim or you needed to measure, you gotta get this tool. It's a very expensive tool, but it is pretty handy when you need to know uh, correct pinion depth or when you're stumped. But now this tool is only good for 10 bolt, 12 bolt, 10 bolts, down to 30, down to 36, down to 44, down to 60, nine inch, eight, eight, eight and three quarter. So it covers a lot, but not, doesn't cover everything. You can probably make something up, you know, to get it close, but um, you've got different adapters. Be careful not to score them up when you put them in. This one uses, uh, I believe it's these two. So we're gonna set these two adapters with this bar in here and the dial to, uh, to get the correct pinion depth. Now, the tool comes with three different calibrated uh, spacers here that get your dial set perfectly in this bar. I'll show you that in just a second. But you have one, there's three different measurements. I've wrote them all down here so you know. It's in this little pamphlet here, but I believe you have one. Okay, yeah, the longest one sets the depth of 3.375. There's a shorter one right here. It's two and a half and 1.9 inches on the shortest one. And it tells you here which one to use. So we're doing a Dana 44. Wow. Golf ball just hit the side of the building. That was loud. Um, Dana 44, we're going to use the long extension so that is the 3.375 which will be this one so we'll get this set up in here with this dial and and show you how you get your pinion depth spot on okay the first thing you want to do you got the bar you got your fake bearings but you want to put your target plate in here this magnetic base right here you want to set it there get it on that pinion because here's your center line so you can measure off of something so that'll get that dial measuring off of this flat surface and you'll sweep it back and forth and go with the highest number and that'll be the correct reading so what we're going to do now is we're going to fling this in here put the bar in here you want to make sure you've got the correct size my cat's in here helping us out hollering at us So we're going to get our caps put back on. Get them, it says to torque them down to 25 feet pounds. So we're going to do that. And get everything torqued down. And uh, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, that this bar can spin and move and it's free. All right, so I got, I've got these on. I'm gonna torque them down to 25 like it says. Click, 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 click. Okay, so what's gonna happen now, you're gonna measure off of this flat surface. And this right here is gonna set, set the dial to 3.375. We're gonna have a set screw. We're gonna put the dial in. And you wanna make sure you get close to zero you can always just add back the numbers like 
I'll show you when you put it in. You can do this a couple different ways. I'm gonna try to set it to zero. So I've already got the dial at zero. So as I push it in, okay, it's hitting, we're at like 10. But I'm gonna try to stay. You wanna make sure, okay, that's at one. So we can add this back after we do our measurement because I pushed it in 1,000. So I'm gonna set it right there. And to make sure it's still there, I let off, we'll put it back on. Uh, I'm not satisfied we're hitting there. I'm gonna go in just a little bit further just to make sure we're where we need to be. Okay, that's one thousandths, supposedly. So remember that, we're gonna add that back. It's not even quite a thousandths, but close. We're gonna add maybe a thousandths back when we do our measurement. It's not quite a thousand. So now when I spin this over, you want to look at the dial. It's going to go in when I'm hit, going to hit that target plate. It's going to go in a few times. See it moving and moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. And now we're finally on the target plate. So as I sweep it, we're looking for the highest reading. I'm gonna make sure the target plate is bottomed out, and it is. Let's see where we're at. Oh, slid off. Right around 750 is where we're at. Yeah. We're gonna say 750 thousandths is the high point. So, if you follow me over here to the cardboard box, to the paper, we're gonna to have to do some mathematics. So we have 3.375, we're gonna subtract 0 0.750, which is gonna give us, well, that's a lot of math, five, two, six, uh, 2.625. We really need to add back a thousandths because we're off. It's pretty close. You could add back a thousandths if you wanted to. So now we're going to look at the actual depth again. What was stamped on our, our opinion here was a 2.624. So we're within a thousandth using, using the factory shim. So 2.624 was the target depth. That shows us we're at 2.625. 625 with the shim we're using. So that's how you use this tool to check your pinion depth.